Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope everyone enjoyed the last video that I did. And I hope everyone watched the Strangers review because now we'll be reviewing Strangers Pray at Night. Strangers Pray at Night. Now, the Strangers Pray at Night, I love the Strangers Pray at Night. Now, you know, I know some people, you know, said Strangers 2 is no good. Strangers 2 is a flop. Strangers 2 didn't live up to the original, didn't live up to the hype. I went to see this in the theaters. And, you know, seeing this in the theaters gives you a whole different perspective on this film. Now, Strangers 2, is there any goods and bads? There's goods, some bads. The one bad is why did it take so long to get this easy movie out? Why did it take so long? You know, Strangers 2 to me seemed like it should have came out like 09, definitely 2011. But it came out this late. But I'm glad it did. And is Strangers 2 good? I give it an 8. 8 out of 8. I give it an 8 out of 8. Um, why the Strangers 2 is good in my opinion is one simple reason you know we need more movies like this that's why the best way I can describe it we need more movies like this and I hope the strangers can go in some sort of franchise territory because we need more movies like this we need to get rid of these you know cheap jump scare films where they just horn shoe in all these jump scares and oh let's play with a Ouija board you know let's conjure a demon up Let's get rid of that. You know, I did not go see the Truth or Dare, but I know a lot of people did not like that film. It was a flop. If films are like that are not making you money anymore, get rid of them. Go back to the basics of the slashers. Go back to the basics of Supernatural. Films. Like, I'm Insidious. Not the third one, but the first one. Go back to the basics of films like that. Like Dead Silence. Films that's, that's Supernatural. But go back to the basics. The same with slashers. Slashers are scary. You can make them scary again. It's like, you know, strangers is like a thrill. You know, the strangers in my opinion is like a thrill or slasher um, type of film. That's what type of film it is to me. And maybe I'll kind of go on a rant here. But, you know, like it. It proved, you know, horror movies like that. It's based on an iconic character. Can still make a buck. And still can become popular if you do the character right. You make you do the character right, you make the story good. So the Strangers, I, I guess you could say the Strangers did come out at the right time when there was a lot of, you know, the Strangers 2 came out this year. I don't know why I'm thinking last year. Yeah, this year. Why was I thinking last year when I seen this in the theaters in March? March this year to me seems like a vague month. I don't know why. But off topic again. Get back on top of Strangers 2. Maybe it came out at the right time. Because again, like early of like early in the year, like January, February, March, April, May, that's when you usually see like a lot of the, you know, cheap jump scares, you know, type of films. Let's get rid of those. But back on topic, that is Strangers 2. That's another good. You know, it did these characters the um it, you know, it did the killers right. It did the story right. It didn't take nothing away. And maybe it did come out at the right time. Maybe I'm making this video too long. Who the hell knows? But my point I'm trying to make is we need more movies like this. You know. But the Strangers 2, the story never felt rushed. The story felt nice and paced, which I feel like it's something good. And the story is very simple. It's about this family. They're going through family problems. They're in this nice house. And they, I guess they're on move or they're just taking a trip. I think they're taking a trip to the to this trailer park. And they go into this trailer. They spend the night. And of course, you hear the knock on the door. It's time we're home. After that, all hell breaks loose. My favorite scene in The Strangers 2 is when they're at the pool. And I call him Baghead. Or I'm or, um, Sackhead. Sometimes I call him Sackhead. I, I, because I call him different names. But the um, Burlap Sack Man. Swinging the axe around, and it was in the pool. 
that is a very cool scene. It was shot well. Cinematography was well in that scene. I love that scene. You know, that scene should be an iconic scene. And this, you know, The Strangers 2 should get more appreciation than it, than it should. You know, for, you know, that one scene, some other scenes, the time it came out, the way everything. You know, the, you know, the director of the film really gave it, it is all in this. And there, you know, this movie never disappointed me. This movie never disappointed me. This movie never disappointed me. It always kept me on the edge of my seat. It always kept me engaged. I was never bored. It's a very fun ride. It's a very fun movie. Now, there's only one con, and it's a natural con. You know, it's a natural con. Even if the sequel is good. It's not... Now, did... Was the hype lived up for me? The hype was there. The hype was lived up. I remember when they was because I remember um, when they first announced this, I was hyped already. And then, you know, watching the movie, I was not again. I was not disappointed. The the hype lived up in my opinion, but some people say it didn't have the feel of the first movie. You know, it didn't have the film. Film. It didn't have the feel of the first film. It wasn't like the first film. Let me tell you something, and, you know, some people agree or disagree with me on this. Let me know if you agree with me in the comments. The best horror sequels out there sometimes don't feel like the original. Because if you feel too much like the original, if you feel too much like the original, it could go south. It could go bad. Because The Strangers 2, if you wanted A Strangers 2... You know, why would you want a Strangers 2, you know, to feel like the first film? Because the first film was about a couple, you know, in this in in this house in the middle of um, nowhere. Do you want that type of story again with a twist where, oh, it's a couple in the house, bullying pressure type of film? Do you want that again? I don't. So the Strangers 2, in my opinion, is a 10 out of 10. It did live up to the hype, in my opinion. It was worth the wait. It was worth my money. It was worth my time. I was not bored. I was satisfied. I was on the edge of my seat. I was so engaged to this film. When it was over and I left the theater, I wanted to go back in the theater and watch it again. The Strangers 2 is, um, like the first film, is most watched. Like, when I watch Strangers 1 now, I'll watch Strangers 2. When I watch Strangers 1, if I watch Strangers 2, I'll watch the, the um, first film. And is The Strangers 2 effective? Is, tra is Strangers 2 effective like the first movie? Of course not. You know, you look at Halloween 2, was that really effective as the first movie? No. Was Child's Play 2 that effective? No. I'm not going to say Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Was Nightmare on Elm Street 3 that effective with the first one? You know, no. Was the second song effective? No, it was not. So you can't copy things. If you copy your original art, it could go bad or it could be good. But within the Strangers 2 case, I'm glad they took that direction of the family. And let me talk about the original ending. The original ending, I love it. I've seen the um, alternative ending on the uh, featurette. I've seen it. I like the uh, original ending that they use in the film. I think, you know, I think it'd be so cool because you know we don't know if um, you know we don't know if um, Burlap Man is alive. We don't know if he's alive, and in my opinion, I think it'd be so cool if they did a part three to The Strangers, and you had Burlap Man, and you know maybe he has like a new um, Burlap sack mask or whatever, and you wonder why is he back? You know, why is this character back? You know, but as fans of the Strangers and as fans of Halloween, other iconic flashes, are going, oh, he's supernatural. You know, but keep that hidden to like the end, or like the middle part of the film that he's supernatural. That'd be pretty cool to see like a new modern day, you know, supernatural killer like Michael, etc. So. Strangers 2. 
You know, I say this about all horror films, but this is a simple and effective horror movie, in my opinion. And it's one we needed. It's one we needed, especially early this year. And we finally go, we finally gonna get us a new Halloween movie that looks dope as hell. And we need that this year. We needed The Strangers too this year because you know there's a lot of movies that love you know Ouija boards and you know um, cheap jump scares. A lot of movies are rely on that. I feel like. You know, and this is soft topic before I get into it. This is my opinion only. They're making an Annabelle 3. Why are you making an Annabelle 3? Annabelle 2 was good. Annabelle 1 was, uh, I know a, a Annabelle 3, they're going to fake all kinds of shit. They're going to fake everything in Annabelle 3. And, you know, if that's what they want to do, do it. I don't really care. I'm not going to see it. Off topic. Maybe I can make, you know, you know if you want... I can make a video of how to return horror to its former glory. You want me to make a video on how to return horror to its former glory? Let me know in the comments how to bring horror back to the mainstream and get rid of all these cheap jump scares again. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure you give me a like. And make sure you share. Sharing does help. And turn on your post notifications because YouTube feels there needs to be more rules on how you get your notifications to know when I upload a new video or even go live. But this was the Strangers 2 um, review. This was the Strangers 2 review. Um, this film was so dope to me, and I can't wait for part three if they come out with a part three. But this is kind of a long video, so I will cut it now. Peace. I will catch you in the next video, and have a wonderful day.